Okay, uh, this may look like the first, this is actually the second video. I decided to start it off like this. I cannot find my tripod, so I'm just doing it like this, doing it by hand. Uh, day's 26th, uh, second day of working with the um, P2, uh, day of doing glass. Uh, one of them was interesting. Uh, so first of all, the max speed you can have if you're using a curved surface, is like 30 now. I know some of the videos show 60, 80, something like that. I think they must have slowed it down for some reason in the software. And also, when I was looking at the videos, unless I missed something, you no longer have the ability once you um, do the curved surface to actually like see it, the um, thing in the uh, video or you know the picture. And it even says, you know, don't rely on anything. Go by this thing here. So it's already like measured the surface, knows where it's at. And you just place it within the parameters. Uh, I still would like to see it to kind of feel what it looks like. Because I could have big parameters and I'm trying to like put something inside of something. So hopefully they bring that back. Um, the other one, uh, like I was saying, at the 30 for the speed, uh, at 16, it literally shaved the glass. I went back in there after a bit and it's like, oh my God, there's glass everywhere. I had to like get the vacuum and vacuum it out. Uh, right now on the curved surfaces, so far it seems like 10 on power may be working. Uh, we'll see. And I can hear it just finished. Uh, so the second part of this, which was actually the first, because that's where I started. I'm like, hey, I may as well do this. Uh, but it was just so loud in there. That sucker is loud as hell. And you'll see that in a second. And I'll just prep it up again, just in case um, I like, you couldn't hear it because it's so loud. Uh, closed on a house last week, asked the guy what kind of, um, you know, if he drank or not, because I bought these whiskey decanters and I was going to do some nice whiskey sets for the drinkers. Also have some stuff for wine drinkers too, but um, he said he drank Jameson. So I found a, uh, a kind of thing for Jameson and I... Uh, you know, put it on the decanter. You're going to see that in a sec now that it's done. And um, I may wait until I, no, I'm going to show you after I pull it off. Uh, if I find my tripod, I'm going to talk about something. I may talk, you no, know I'm going to talk about for just a second. Okay. Uh, somebody came, you know, those door to door meat salesmen. I bought door to door meats before. You know, sometimes they pretend they fell off a truck. No, at least they were half honest. It's like, this is all they do is door-to-door -door sales, whatever. Bought some uh, steaks and uh, seafood. But see, here's the thing. The motherfuckers then tried to charge me taxes. Or they did. Because, you know, they show you the price and then they charge. And I'm like, what's that charge? Then it, it's like, I need to charge. And it's like, oh, we had to charge 3% for uh, the credit card. And got to owe Uncle Sam. Well, um, here's the problem. In this state, frozen foods are not taxed. This guy's gonna actually give me have the balls to tell me I'm wrong. Even when I order from Amazon, non-prepared foods, I don't pay taxes on. No matter where, I go to the grocery store. If I don't have prepared foods, I don't pay tax. He thinks people are stupid. Then he had the balls to tell me we charge this to everyone because we have to pay tax. They ain't paying no damn taxes. They done effed up. Do you know why? They tried to rip me off. I'm gonna go eat the steaks. I'm gonna I'm gonna at least open up one within my 60 days because one is door to door sales. You can cancel door to door sale in th three days, no matter what. And two, um, it's fraud. So um, I, I got 60 days to cancel that. So I'm gonna eat a steak or two, see how I like it. If I don't. Yeah, because he so-called had a guarantee. Oh, here's another one. I'm going to go deeper in this video because it's going to take too long. There's no way to contact them. Name of the company's not on the boxes. Name of the company's not on the receipt. I mean, the name of the company's on the receipt, but no address, phone number, nothing. Talking about call us if you have an issue. Okay, so uh, I, I'm not worried because I pay with a credit card. And um, yeah, they done effed up because after the holidays here next week, Guess who I'm contacting? You don't mess with me. I'm contacting the state because I guarantee you, as sure as God made little green apples, 
they're not paying taxes. That's money going in their pockets and they collected it, which means because they collected and said it was tax, they're going to be in for a big surprise. When somebody tells you something that you know, they know they're lying. They, they know you're lying and you're going to sit there and try to convince them. You may run across one of me who's going to F your life because they're going to end up paying some taxes. That's why it's going to make it so funny. So he gave me like 20 bucks out of his pocket. I was like, oh, here you go. Wait a minute. The taxes were $43. He's like, well, you know, my my, my manager will be mad if I... I'm like, okay, you, you just bought yourself a tax trial because that's fraud. So let's go on in there and uh, see what this looked like. Okay, um... Now doing a little bit of thing. I know it's loud as hell in here, but this is day two. I've been doing glass um, part of yesterday and today. Uh, I should have done the uh, ones that I printed out this more laser this morning. So uh, they haven't put any material settings out. One guy in the Facebook group so far has uh, done something on glass, but he didn't put his settings, so I had to kind of guess here. Uh, based on what I could get doing the, uh, the curved surface on uh, mugs, uh, I'm just guessing about 20 and uh, 80 for now. I'm hoping I don't ruin it because what this is, if you can see it, probably can't. Uh, this is uh, oh, whiskey decanter. So I bought whiskey decanters and um, hoping to give them out, you know, people who drink and stuff. So I talked to this guy when we closed, and he said, and I asked him if he drank, and I was just like, you know, hey, I'm just trying to figure out good gifts for you and stuff. And he was like, oh, yeah, I love Jam Jamerson's. So uh, I believe that's the Irish whiskey. So I looked up their logo, then I found one that was like really simple for now, and removed the background and everything, so it print nice on here. As far as I can tell right now, yeah, this sucker's loud. It's printing okay. Uh, so some of the issues I kind of have is even with the close-up camera and stuff, especially on glass, it's still very hard to position stuff. So I'm gonna have to work that a little bit more. Uh, what I had to end up doing for multiple things is I have some wet paper towel here and I took the wet paper towel, I placed it on top just so I can get the proper measurements. Uh, first, I thought I may have had to do the curve on this one, and it was actually really flat, so I just did open plane. Uh, this is printing really quick. So from what I've noticed from looking at past videos of people who have the early bird modules, models who, you know, got them for free and all, uh, the ones who did the curved surfaces said, uh, you know what, I'm gonna get this to the front again. Okay, so I had a vacuum here because of shedding yesterday. I really should have taken a picture of it, but here we go. Um, I did the technique where I uh, smeared the um, the dish soap on there to hopefully keep it from uh, shattering and stuff. We'll see, I'm gonna have to wash this off. Probably gonna leave this here where we are right now, I don't know, we'll see. Uh, next, his uh, daughter is into Taekwondo, so I just found a nice, really Taekwondo thing. She's like seven or eight, and I'm going to put her name on it along with uh, a little Taekwondo symbol. Not on this, but a, uh, one of those mugs, and who knows? Maybe I'll do that one. Okay, see y'all. Okay, now what I'm doing is I purchased a uh, a wine, a uh, a whiskey thing, um, you know, what do you call those? A case, I'm gonna try to make this whiskey case. Unfortunately, because of the size, I'm gonna have to go through a lot of uh, wood for this. I don't even know if it's worth it at any point. I'm gonna have to be able to find some ways to get better wood. Um, today was a little bit different. It's actually starting to blow back in, so the wind's supposed to be different today. So I'm probably gonna have to go ahead and install the full window kit, not the one I made. So uh, right now, it looks like uh, for the basswood, 
I can cut it at about uh, 20 or 25 seems to be okay. I may be able to do it at a few more passes or something. Cut down on the char a little bit. So right now it's doing the evacuation, 10 seconds. It's locked so I can't even open it if I want to. You can see how fast it's clearing, but you see, now there's a little bit of an issue. I don't know if you can notice that there is still um, smoke in there. So the uh, fan has stopped, which means what happens now? So let's see when I open it. So it did not clear because this is some nice smoky blast wood. So now it's letting the smoke out and the fan stopped. It's not going to do anything. Okay, got it.